I'm sorry, so sorry, but I have to say goodbye. I can see it in your eyes that you are restless. The time has come for you to leave. It's so hard to let you go, but in this life I know you have to be who you were made to be. As you step out on the road, I'll say a prayer. So that in my heart, you always will be there. This is not goodbye. I know we'll meet again. So let your life begin, cause this is not goodbye. It's just I love you to take with you. Chadwick was a deeply kind and gentle person. There will forever be an irreplaceable piece missing from our Marvel family. He's a historical figure as the Black Panther, but also such a good and decent human being. To all of those little kids that love Black Panther and look to T'Challa as their hero, just know that the guy who played him is an even bigger hero in real life. For the end of the the third Avengers, the uh, Infinity War, there is this, uh, we all kind of lose together. And I remember it was one of those few days that all of the, uh, all of the Avengers were, were together. And um, it was just the way that he walked on set and the immense success that had occurred and rightfully so with Black Panther. And uh, he was just in this kind of stratus of his own and uh but always always humble always hard working always a smile on his face and uh and just and now looking back all the more i realize just what an incredibly graceful human being it was i'm dead <laughs> no, i'm not ready for you to be dead chad wait i am <laughs> An angel on earth departed. A soul so beautiful. When you walked into a room, there was calm. You always moved with grace and ease. Every time I saw you, the world would be a better place. Words can't describe how I feel how we all feel, that losing you is forced upon us. To accept this as a new reality. And I wish I got to say goodbye. I messaged you a couple times, but I thought you were just busy. 
I didn't know you were dealing with so much. But against all the odds, you remain focused on fulfilling your purpose with the time handed to you. Bozeman touched the hearts across the world of so many people when he was the Black Panther. And as Jarvis mentioned, that movie's still playing tonight in Anderson. Fans really of all ages brought blankets and chairs to watch that movie, one of their favorites, on the big screen. And those who had the pleasure of spending some time with him are continuing to reflect on his life. Fox Carolina's Amber Worthy continues our team coverage tonight with how people felt about this loss and just what we've learned about him since Friday. Yes, and tonight as this movie continues to play, it's mixed emotions of happiness and sadness that this star is gone. Many came in Black Panther gear or African garments as a tribute to the king that Chadwick Boseman played on the Black Panther film that, like we said, is still going on right now. And Lots of people here traveled from out of state just to visit the hometown of our hometown hero, coming to the upstate just to be with the community that is mourning the loss of this icon. One mom told me that her son had grown out of his first Black Panther outfit, so she had to buy another just for tonight. Another woman considered him one of the greatest legends in her culture, in her history, and she says she plans to continue to share his story for generations to come. And I'll never forget the day that I met you. Before I got on the plane to LA for my first meeting with you, God told me that you are my brother, and that I am to love you as such. And I always did. And I always will. But now my heart is broken, searching for old messages of exchange cards filled with your handwriting and memories of you holding my hand as if it was for eternity. I thought we had more time and many more years to come for more laughter and more moments of me picking on you on set, leaning my head on your shoulders in the throne room as Ryan gave us notes I thought this would be forever. This hurts. I'm trusting God to heal all wounds. It is also written that all things are made new. There is light in the darkness.